guys welcome back to my channel today the weather is very hot and i'm very sweaty <laughs> and i wasn't planning on making a video but i just had a delivery it's that time of the month <laughs> yes but it's also the time of the month when we send presents as a family we're doing it during lockdown like a kind of secret center thing i think i mentioned last month and again, of course, I asked for makeup. It came in this beautiful gift box, which I'm definitely gonna keep and put my makeup in when I'm like moving it from one room to the other or if I'm going away with it, it's beautiful. So I got Revolution Pro Microblading Eyebrow Pencil, which is amazing. I love the Anastasia Beverly Hills one. That's got a really special place in my heart, but this is so thin. I'm sorry that it won't focus. Okay, it's not gonna focus. But it's really beautiful, really, really small. The tip is really small, as you can see. So that's gonna be amazing, I think, to work with. So I can't wait to try that one out. I also got the Micellin True Color Eyeshadow Base in white. I think it's just white. It's white, so. So that's amazing. So that should make it a lot easier for me to apply my eye looks and get the different colors. So I'm very excited to try that as well. And then finally, which I didn't ask for, but um, I think it was my sister, I think it was one of my sisters that sent this. She, or they, whoever they were, picked out this. It's the Roxy Eyeshadow, uh, the Rox Roxaurus Ride or Die palette. And it is stunning. Can we just take a minute? That is incredible. And I can't wait to try them. They've all got really cute names. They're very like, it's a very modern named palette. There's gingerbread, boo, yas, pumpkin, shook, cookie, cola, ember, Draco, Draco, Marvel, Mars, Inspire, Sunset, Ariel, Cranberry. Cranberry is my favourite so far. I'm sure we could have guessed that that would be my absolute fave. Um, and also shook. That could rival millions from the Jeffree Star Artistry palette, if I'm honest. But yeah, so today, because I'm so excited for them to arrive and because I might as well do a video, I'm gonna do a look with those. So it'll be a bit of a tutorial, a bit of a review, a bit of everything for the family, fun for everyone. So yeah, hope you enjoy, let's get into it. So I'm starting by taking the Revolution Pro Matte Primer and priming my face with that. And then with the Micellin Eyeshadow Base, I'm gonna take a brush and put that on my eyes. I also blended it in at the end just with my finger. And then with the Roxaurus Ride or Die palette, I'm going to take the shade Aerial and put that on the crease of my eye. Then I'm going to take the shade Pumpkin and work that just underneath Aerial and then all over my lid. Then I'm going to take a cotton bud with some makeup remover and just take that off my lid up to my crease. Then I'm going to take a little bit more of the Micellin eyeshadow base just to prepare my lid. And then taking a mix of the shades Yas and Sunset, I'm going to put that on my lid. And I'll be using the Zoeva Authentic Skin Foundation and doing a layer of that. Normally I would do two, but because I've let my primer set into my skin, it should be fine with just one layer. Then taking the Jeffree Star Setting Powder and putting a thin layer of that in the places that I get particularly oily. Then using the Revolution Pro Microblading Pencil, I'm going to brush up my eyebrows with a spoolie and then outline and fill them in. I'm then going to work in my powder again and add any more if needed. Then with the shade Iconic, I'm going to blend out the top of my eye look. And I'm then going to take Honey and really lightly put that in the inner corner of my lid. Then with Unicorn, I'm going to put that in the inner corner of my eye next to my nose. And finally, I'm going to take Draco underneath my lower lash line. Next, I'm going to take the Revolution Pro Sculpting Bronzer and put that on my cheekbones, temples and forehead. And then with the Revolution Pro Supreme Highlight in the shade Ice and the gold one from that and put that on the apples of my cheeks and nose. And the lipstick I'll be using is the Gerard Cosmetics Hydra Matte Lipstick in the shade Everything Nice. I'm then going to do a winged eyeliner look with the Collection Fast Stroke Eyeliner. The mascara I'll be using is the QIC Waterproof Mascara. And my false lashes are the Morphe Premium Lashes in the shade Glam Bustada. And I'll be applying those with the Lily Lashes Adhesive Glue. And here's the finished look. I love that palette so much. It's stunning. This is the one if you want to buy it. It's on, I believe, Revolution and Beauty Bay. It's so nice. I think it's amazing. The eyeshadow base was great as well. Like it gave a really good foundation for all of this. The 
Microblading as well is great. I think I could have got away with the darker colour, but sometimes it's nice to have lighter brows because sometimes it's a bit overwhelming if you're doing like a heavy eye and then you've got really dark eyebrows. So yeah, I'm so happy with everything that I've got. This look reminds me a lot of the sunset look that I did a while ago and that was one of my favourite looks and I just love this. I think it's like a really good look for summer. Uh, obviously it's a lot of makeup to wear when it's hot but I think with your hair back and just like for a dramatic look if you're going out somewhere, I think it's really nice. But I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe if you want to see more like this. And as ever, if you had any suggestions for looks you'd like me to try, let me know down in the comments or DM me. My Instagram will be in the description. I have a new palette to try now, so if there are any colours that you saw that you were like, oh, this look really good, then let me know. I've got a couple of looks that I want to try that I've had suggested. I've just got to wait to get some more products for those. But yeah, keep your eyes peeled because I'll be doing those soon. But have a lovely rest of the week or weekend, whenever this is, and I'll see you soon. Bye!